Hello, my friend. Uh, today we are going to pay for the products the, with PayPal. So in here, first we add this product into the card. And then we go to our card page. And by clicking this PayPal for pay for this product. So now if we click this pay now. Now we successfully purchase the item with the PayPal. This is what we are going to do in this section. So to do that, first, uh, we need to um, sign up the PayPal by going to this website. After that, we need to create the test ID for PayPal. So first, we need to sign up for the PayPal. After that, we need to create the test ID uh, and then uh, we need to make a transaction success function that comes from the PayPal. But uh, before doing it, we actually need to make the payment collection. So inside the payment collections, there is a user field and data field and product field. So if we see this payment collection, so there is a user parts. So who pay for that product and then data field. Uh, inside the data field, there are a lot of the information that comes from the PayPal like a payer ID and payment ID, like this kind of information. And lastly, we also have the product field that has the products information in here. So after uh, being successful for payment, what we need to do is uh, we need to empty the card. So come in here. So after successfully purchase the item, we just uh, empty the card and then we need to save the payment information uh, like this and we also need to uh, save the information in the user collection like this this uh, this one is the user collection so we also need to put the brief information about our payment inside in here so we will save the information in two parts one is inside the payment collection and the other one is inside the user collection but this is this is for the brief information. So, so first we will go to the PayPal website to sign up the PayPal. So click this one. So inside in here, if you come in here, we click this login to dashboard. So first you need to sign up in here, but this process will be really straightforward, but I will skip that process and I'm going to log in with the ID I sign up. So inside in here, the first thing we need to do is, as I said in here, create a test ID for PayPal. So you, we can just click this create account. And then it will be the personal. So click it. I already made the account for the sandbox. After that, we also need to the set uh, the password for this one. So click the view and edit account in here. So you, you need to click this uh, change password and then you can just uh, change the password. So and then you need to remember the password you set just before for this account. So now uh, we need to make the transaction success per function, but first we will make this a payment collection. So we go back to our text editor. So first go to server and then models. And inside in here, I make the file name payment.js. Inside in here, we will just copy this one from the products and paste it in here. So we will, okay. Uh, this one has to be the JS instead of just J. So, and then we just uh, delete the fill only for the only belong to the product schema. So this one is the payment schema. So change the name payment schema payment. So I need to uh, fill the fields for the payment schema. First one was uh, user user type 
will be array and then default is the empty array the next one is the data and type is a uh, array default and then product type is the array again and this one's default is also empty array so that's it for the payment model the next one is the uh, make the transaction success functions but on second dot i think that we need to make a paypal button first so which is uh, this paypal button so to make this paypal button we need to download this react paypal express checkout dependency so this one is in here like react paypal express checkout so first of all, we are going to download this dependency by going to our text editor so we are going to make a button in here inside the cart page just a paypal button uh, we will make a one component for the paypal so inside the utils and we will make the file name paypal.js or inside in here rfce for functional component and we will download go to the client and then we will download that dependency this one npm install react paypal express and check out and save and then uh, from here is first i want to go to paypal the npm page in here so we will just uh, get this full example from here just bring everything in here and then i am going to just paste it in here so i need to change this name into paypal so we need to change many parts in here but first uh, we are going to import this component uh, inside the cart page so in here import paypal and from utils and paypal and put this one inside the paypal button in here like this and then save it and then we will turn on our application first go back to our root pay root directory npm run dev to run our application so now we are inside our application you can see this paypal button so now we need to control this paypal button so come back to our text editor again in here so first we go back to our paypal component in here if we just pay for this product with this paypal so all of the information coming in here you can have all of history about the payment uh, inside these variables uh, and then if you just cancel it while doing payment for this one if you just cancel it yeah you will get all of the information inside in data if there was some errors the doing the payment it will print out all of the information why that error happened so in here so this one is the environment but we are using the test mode for the paypal so that's why we are writing the sandbox but if we really want to use this paypal so we will change this one into production so we will just set the currency as a usd and then the total will be the total amount of money so we cannot just uh, do hard coding for this one because the, every time we buy the, some product the amount of the price we will pay for will be different so we will change this one later so in here so we just uh, made our uh, test id inside a paypal website so so we need to get some information there and then put it in here so we are only gonna use the sandbox right now so we will just bring the sandbox app id so that is all we need to do inside in here so after that we actually don't want to use this style because this style is kind of old so to change the styling we need 
I want to separate the lines so we can see it more easily. And then we make the style here and then size will be large and then color will be blue and then shape will be the black and the level will be check out so we will go back to our application so now we have a better styling the paper button and I want to bring this uh, sandbox app ID so go back to our PayPal website so now we come back to our sandbox the PayPal website so the first thing we need to do is the, we come inside the my app and credential inside the dashboard tab so first we need to click this create app and you will write the app name just I will write the uh, shop app and I will just uh, choose this one the sandbox business account and click the create app so now I got the client ID in here so copy this client ID and come back to our text editor and inside in the sandbox I'm going to paste it here like this so now I'm going to save it and I will go back to my application so now I try to really do it by clicking this paper button now and so in here we need to use the ID we just created before before in here sandbox test account so I made this account so we need to use this account to log in in here I'm going to use this one and then log in so now click the pay now so if we see the console so payment was success succeeded in here this one comes from uh, here because the, we already print out this console payment and the data so this one is the payment history we just did the paid true and payer id this one and payment id and token and like this and when we just cancel so without doing anything so we also got this uh, cancel information so we are going to use this on success and on cancel but we need to handle this kind of uh, the function uh, from this cart page because the, we brought this uh, component in here so we need to give some props for this paypal component so we are going to give four props so it's the one one prop for this one one prop for on cancel and the other props for the on error the last props for the price this one total price so inside in here i'm going to make the four props um first first one will be to pay and then we will put the total num total price from the state total so by using this to pay we just uh, go to the paypal component we will change this one with the of this the props and to pay and the another props for the unsuccess uh, unsuccess so we will make the name transaction success so we need to make that function in here So after being successful for this payment, so we will do the empty the card and save the payment information inside the payment collection and user collection. So that's what we need to do in here. So we need to do a lot of things in here. So if I put the other the props in here, that will be transaction error. Transaction error. 
I need to make this function in here const just uh, simply we will say the paypal error and lastly uh, transaction cancel just uh, simply we just print out transaction cancel so we put this function in here as a prop name transaction cancel we need to put this prop inside this paypal component uh, first inside the unsuccess this prop and unsuccess payment unsuccess comes from here and with these two transaction error and cancel just uh, you can do something in here as you want but i'm not going to keep doing it because it's already enough i guess and the last thing we need to do is to make this uh, transaction success function so first uh, i will use the axios and then i will do post request the name the pass for this api will be api users and success by and we need to put the variable in here um just uh let variables and uh, we i want to put the cart detail in here in user cart detail and i also want to put the payment data this will be the just data that comes from this here so um, you see so many information we got uh, this one we will put all of the information yeah just uh, in here like this inside the payment data so we put this variable in here and then a response uh, if response data success we will do something else we will do something alert uh, fail to buy it so now we need to go to the users ah this one is the props okay uh, props user card detail so first we need to make this api inside the user controller so go to users route in here success by and this was the post request so but from here i think it will be kind of long video so first i will pause the video and then i will come back again so, so thank you for watching this video and see you in our next video thank you